All right, so picture this. You're scrolling through your feed, maybe sipping your morning coffee, and suddenly you see a video pop up. Elon Musk just dropped a new clip of Tesla ES robot Optimus. But this isn't just your average robot shuffling around awkwardly or waving a stiff arm. Nope. This thing is actually dancing. I mean really dancing, shifting its weight, balancing on one foot, moving in a way that honestly makes you do a double take. For a second, you might even forget you're watching a robot. Now I know robots dancing isn't exactly new. We'd have all seen those Boston Dynamics videos where the robots do a little boogie or jump around. But there's something about this Tesla bot that feels different. Maybe it's the way it moves. There's a kind of smoothness, a confidence, like it actually knows what it's doing. And that's got people talking. I mean, when was the last time you saw a robot dance and thought, wow, I kind of want to hang out with that thing? So, let's back up for a second and talk about how we even got here. Because honestly, if you told me a few years ago that Tesla the car company would be making robots that can dance better than most people at a wedding, I'd have laughed you out of the room. But here we are. It all started back in 2021. Tesla had this big event called AI Day, and Elon Musk gets up on stage and starts talking about building a humanoid robot. And instead of rolling out an actual robot, they had a person dressed in a robot suit come out and do this goofy dance. It was kind of hilarious, and a lot of people thought, okay, this is classic Elon big promises, lots of hype, but where's the real thing? Fast forward a year, and Tesla actually brings out a prototype. It could walk, kind of, and move its arms, but let's be real. It wasn't exactly blowing anyone's mind. People were skeptical. Was this just another one of those tech demos that looks cool on stage but never really goes anywhere? But then, something changed. Tesla started making real progress. By 2023, they had this new version, Optimus Gen 2. Suddenly, the robot could do more than just shuffle around. It was sorting colored blocks, holding yoga poses, and, yeah, even dancing a little. The hands were getting more flexible. The movements were smoother. And it was starting to look less like a clunky machine and more like, well, something you might actually see in a sci-fi movie. And then, late last year, Tesla held this event called We Robot. They had a bunch of these Optimus bots out on the floor interacting with people, serving drinks, playing games, just hanging out. It was wild. For the first time, you could actually imagine these things being part of everyday life, not just locked away in some lab. Oh, and hey, if you're enjoying this breakdown and want to keep up with the latest on tech, robots, and all the wild stuff coming our way, don't forget to hit subscribe. Seriously, it helps out a ton and you won't miss any of the cool updates. All right, back to the story. So, this latest dance video, it's not just a party trick. What's really impressive is how the robot moves. It's not just following a script or repeating the same moves over and over. It's actually balancing, shifting its weight and reacting in real time. You see it stand on one foot, swing its arms, and keep its balance like it's no big deal. And yeah, there's a safety harness in the video, but that's just in case it takes a tumble like training wheels for a robot. The engineers say the wire isn't actually holding it up. It's just there for insurance. Here asks where it gets really interesting. The way Optimus learned to dance isn't just some programmer sitting there, typing in every little move. Instead, Tesla's using something called reinforcement learning. Basically, they let the robot mess around in a virtual world, try a bunch of stuff, and figure out what works and what doesn't. It's kind of like teaching a kid to ride a bike. You let them wobble, fall, get back up, and eventually they get the hang of it. Except in this case, the robot can practice millions of times in a simulation before ever trying it in real life. That's a big deal. Because instead of having to program every little thing, you can just set the goal like, hey, stay balanced while you dance, and let the robot figure out the details. And when it finally nails it in the virtual world, you just upload that knowledge to the real robot and watch it go. It's like downloading dance moves straight into its brain. Wild, right? Now let's talk about what makes this robot tick. Under the hood, it's got a bunch of motors and sensors. Think of them like muscles and nerves. There are 40 of these little motors all over its body, letting it move its arms, legs, neck, and torso. Some of them spin, 
Some of them push and pull, depending on what part of the body they're in. The ones in the legs are especially strong, apparently. They're powerful enough that, in theory, one could lift a piano. Not that you'd want your robot moving your grand piano around the house, but hey, it's nice to know it could. And get this. The way they designed these motors, some of them can actually lock in place without using any power. So if the robot wants to hold a pose or stand still, it doesn't have to waste energy. That's a pretty clever trick, and it means Optimus can do more without draining its batteries. But here's the thing. Moving like a human isn't just about having strong motors. It's about knowing exactly how much force to use, when to shift your weight, how to react if you start to tip over. That's where all those sensors come in. They're constantly feeding information back to the robot's brain, letting it make tiny adjustments on the fly. It is a bit like how you don't have to think about balancing when you walk. You just do it, because your body is always making those little corrections. Optimus is starting to do the same thing. So what's the plan for these robots? Right now, Tesla's making a few of them at their factory in California. Elon Musk says they'll build about a thousand this year mostly to use inside Tesla's own factories. The idea is to have the robots do the boring, repetitive jobs that humans don't really want to do, like moving parts around, sorting stuff, maybe even assembling things. If that works out, they'll start selling them to other companies, and eventually, maybe even to regular people. Musk is talking big, he says this could be even bigger than Tesla's car business. Some analysts are saying the market for humanoid robots could be worth trillions of dollars in the next few decades. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but is this really going to change my life? Honestly, it's hard to say. We've seen a lot of hype around robots before, and sometimes it takes a while for the reality to catch up with the promise. But the pace of progress here is kind of mind-blowing. Just a few years ago, this was basically a joke a guy in a robot suit dancing on stage. Now we've got a real robot that can dance, balance, and interact with people. That's a huge leap in a pretty short amount of time. And if Tesla keeps improving at this rate, who knows? Maybe in a few years you'll have an Optimus bot helping out around the house, doing chores, or just keeping you company. Or maybe they'll be working in warehouses, hospitals, restaurants, you name it. The potential is massive and we're just starting to see what's possible. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. There are still a lot of questions to answer. How much will these things cost? Will they really be as useful as Tesla says? What happens if something goes wrong? And of course, there's the whole question of how robots fit into society. How they will change the way we work, live, and interact with each other. For now, though, it's just kind of fun to watch. There's something undeniably cool about seeing a robot dance especially when you remember where we started. It's a reminder that technology can surprise us, sometimes in ways we never expected. So next time you see a video of Optimus busting a move, take a second to appreciate how far we've come. From a guy in a suit to a real dancing robot in just a few years, that's pretty wild. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be showing off your own dance moves to your robot roommate. Just don't be surprised if it outdances you. Anyway. That's the story behind Tesla Optimus and its new dance moves. If you found this as fascinating as I did and want to stay in the loop on all things tech, don't forget to subscribe. There's a lot more coming, and you won't want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out and geeking out with me about the future. Catch you next time.